I wonder if he know that I know he's lying right now. Why the f you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my god. Stop fing lying. What's up guys? Sal here. So Samsung is the number one smartphone maker in the world. And to continue its dominance in the smartphone market, Samsung Mobile CEO DJ Ko has come up with a new strategy. Flashy new features almost always arrive on the most expensive smartphone first, but that's gonna change now. Samsung will now bring big new features to its Galaxy A range of smartphones before their flagships. DJ Ko said, and I quote, in the past, I brought the new technology and differentiation to the flagship model and then moved to the mid-end. But I have changed my strategy from this year to bring technology and differentiation points starting from the mid-end. There are a couple of reasons why I think Samsung is doing it. There's a lot of competition in the mid-range price segment. Chinese firms like OnePlus, Huawei, and Xiaomi are managing to deliver high-spec devices at much lower prices than Samsung's flagships. For instance, the $500 Samsung Galaxy A8 is a perfectly solid phone, but it's undeniably inferior to the larger, more powerful OnePlus 6, which only costs $30 more. Times are changing, with many buyers looking for top specs at more affordable prices. If Samsung want people keep buying their mid-range phones, they need to step up and give them a reason to buy their products. And the second and most important reason is that it could act as a beta testing of the new tech for their flagships. We know that in a flagship phone, if something goes wrong, even if it's a minor issue, media blows it out of proportion and make it seem like a huge thing and bring a lot of negative PR to the company. Samsung won't have that risk with the mid-range phones because the media doesn't care about it. So with mid-range handsets, Samsung can experiment and take risks and also get a real-life feedback from their users and this will surely help them improve the technology and as a result will help them bring out new cutting-edge features faster to their flagships. For instance, the in-display fingerprint scanner should have landed on Samsung's flagship a year ago. Because Samsung was playing it safe, it kept on postponing the feature to their next device and still to this date, we haven't got it yet, whereas most of the Chinese OEMs already have this technology on their devices. But this new approach will surely gonna change that. Hopefully, now we can expect faster rollout of new features to the Galaxy S and Note series which will surely help Samsung keep on dominating the smartphone market. So, of course, that being said, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out. Okay.